For nearly a month, these men and women have been marching from Mali's capital of Bamako to Burkina Faso's capital of Ouagadougou. The workers of African unity, as they call themselves, have been braving harsh weather and trekking through the dangerous woods, and they have only one mission, to push for a federation between the two countries. Today we want to push our governments, our institutions and our people to move towards a federation because we believe that only a federation can be the global and definitive solution for Africa. That is why we thought it was necessary to march from Bamako to Ouagadougou since we saw that Colonel Asimi Goita and Captain Ibrahima Traore are all part of this dynamic. So all that we are doing is calling on them to move quickly toward the federation because we African people want a federation between Mali and Burkina Faso. The march follows a February statement by Prime Minister Apollinaire Kelem de Tambela of Burkina Faso and PM Choguel Maiga of Mali. The two sides have been considering the idea of a federation. On the federation, which our two heads of states hold dearly, we have decided to work very closely on this between now and the holding of a mixed commission in Burkina Faso. We understand there has already been a commission specifically set up at the foreign ministry level to address this question. Mali and Burkina Faso share a long border and face similar challenges. The two former French colonies have been battling a decade-long insurgency. We believe that to secure the Sahel, we need very strong armies. But the state also needs to harmonize their security policy and strategy with their development policy. So that is why we, step by step, city by city, village by village, we communicate with the people. Because even if the institutions are in this dynamically, it is necessary to work with and explain to the masses because they are the ones who have the power. And if they understand the stakes, it could happen quickly. In both countries, the security challenge occasioned coups overthrowing democratically elected leaders blamed for failure to stem insurgency. The junta leaders have locked horns with former colonial power France leading to a withdrawal of French troops from both territories and dismissal of ambassadors as well. As the workers of African unity conclude their march in Ouagadougou, they foresee a brighter future, courtesy of the Federation. When so guys, so that, you know, that's take, that took dedication to work for more than a month now, and it's still, that's me, you know, much miles of people walking on the road and in, in the forest, well, in bushes, it's dangerous for animals because that's in Africa, obviously. But what they're marching for makes sense for the two country Mali and Burkina Faso that shares a border to join the federation as the guy, as the two prime ministers said, that they want to join a federation and bring the armies together to fight insurgents. This will be good because instead of instead of their fighting individually, they come together because they have the same problem and they, they both have coups in these countries overthrown democratically elected president. But so one, that's not my issue. My issue is the fact that these two countries are willing to work together. That's my point. These to work together is what is best for the continent when countries work within the continent work together. Because if you both have insurgents coming in, kidnapping your women and children, which is what happened in Mala in Mali and Burkina Faso. The French army was there and there was no help because they were still getting attacked all the time. So I think the French was only there to protect their resources. That's it. So since they was put out, now both countries have has no one to blame for any issues they have. No one. That's what I want with countries to be left alone to do what they must to make the country elevate. Because when you have you can always blame outsiders who come in to help. But this way when the two countries work together and the two prime ministers, they come together and join forces with the army. And then the citizens of the country seems as if they like this idea. Then they come together, it becomes more stronger and they speak in with one voice and one army. And now they can, um, first of all, stop the coups, stage one, work together, stabilize the country, step two, help the citizens, Step three, step four, fight the 
together the insurgents because now they receive they are receiving Russian help with no strings attached. Russia send um weapons and help, but they, the Russians they declare that they don't want nothing in return. There's no ties. There's no there's no no there is no ties. There's no give me I give you this I give you that with Russia. There's no strings attached. So it's just a basic basic help because the Russians are looking for partners in the future. So if they help this country to elevate and fight up insurgents and then become become a country again basically and the citizens start to get get jobs and the economy start to grow they will be thankful and they will work with the russians as what south africa is doing because they did help they did help south africa in the apartheid time when they helped cuba and so and russia helped south africa in doing apartheid sending army weapons with so i think the, the russians are going to do the same thing here with burkina faso and mali and then now we already see in cooperation between these two countries so when they become stable they won't have no infighting with each other because they are now partners in a federation or like they basically sign agreements to work together so that will play out beautifully if it goes as planned and they don't have outside influence to destabilize them because whenever this is my thought western countries come to destabilize the continent especially neighboring countries so they can keep control of the resources and they come and say okay we protect the, the resources because of, of the war going on but no that's what that's the whole idea behind it is to destabilize the country to use that as an excuse to take the raw material and there's so much smuggling going on right now in, in the congo and in Zimbabwe and these countries where that's rich in resources. So I like this. That's a good look. And big ups to the, to the group that's marching. And also for the two prime ministers that came together to form a federation. And for putting out the French and you and her getting assistance from the Russian, no string attached. That's a good thing. So I like that. So I will keep an eye on it and see how it how it farms. Because as I said they had coups. So let's hope. This is the end of that, and then they start to build on that, um, build a democratic country now, from now onwards. And this way, they won't have no one to blame, so they can only blame themselves if anything goes wrong. This is what I want. This is what I've always, always wanted for the continent. They work their things out together, get help if you want from other countries, because I hear Somalia is sending over a thousand. Um, soldiers to them as well so anyway thanks for watching i don't know as always tell a friend to tell a friend like share and subscribe peace one love boom